you're just getting up or just getting in, it's sure to be difficult. I'm Felicity Bellbottoms and you're listening to Campus Radio, where we try and make whatever you're doing a little bit easier and a little bit noisier. Now taking students for dark art.
A class without a teacher. Student protests continued to rage in the music college at Mitten today. Asked for their thoughts, feelings or demands, one student had this to say. I don't know really. Someone told me we're waiting to see an enormous bassoon. Is that not right? More on that curious bassoon later in the show. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. It's time for a review of the most popular cartoon on campus. Yes, that's right, the Bureaucats. <laughs> This week, I'm reviewing The Bureaucats. Yesterday, Mittens, the cat, found an outrageously obscure bylaw just in time to delay a civil case another 10 weeks. Now, I don't understand the justice system at all, but I do understand drama, and those cats have it. Five cat paws out of a possible 
five. Students are asked not to ask questions. like a milkshake ah. but drinking too much milk can and will make you uncontrollably ill <laughs> be safe and try to have very slightly less than that this message is brought to you by the milkmaid corporation
completed a research project. Well done. on campus. You know what to do. we actually have a follow-up on the story of the enormous bassoon. It seems as though the crowd have got their hands on an inflatable and, indeed, enormous bassoon. I'm a little lost for words, if I'm perfectly honest with you listeners. Was this planned all along, or was it sourced after our segment aired? Just so many questions. They'll have to wait, I suppose. Until next time, I've been Felicity Bellbottoms, speechless on Campus Radio. Tuition fees are expensive, and education is priceless.
students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. Students should pretend that they're listening. Welcome to the show. I'm Richard E. Hawthorne, and you join me today for Two Point Radio's Election Day Special. We'll be talking all things mayoral as Two Point County approaches another important day in its history, and indeed, its future. Get in touch to tell us what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Who will be the next mayor of Two Point County? You decide. Education is non-refundable. Congratulations. Research project complete.
We're back. Today's election sees incumbent mayor Tabitha Winsock take on all challengers. One such foe is Gumbo McNally. Yes, the cousin of Jumbo CEO, Jumbo McNally. Ms. Winsock has held a steady, some say tedious, lead in the polls over Mr. McNally. But what effect, if any, will his last gas speech have on today's proceedings? If you missed it, Mr. McNally finished a rousing 12-minute display with a story of how he once took a modest pile of change from his father and turned it into an impressive lunchtime spread featuring sandwiches, crisps, and sausage rolls. Oh, now that is impressive. There's a fly in here. From Michelle and Smogley, I spoke to Mayor Winsock after a Q&A once and told her that I'd written her a letter. 